Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% Achievement and Trophy Guide. And this time we're getting it all in another site. An adventure game developed by Luna Great Wall Studios, produced by Top Blitz Productions, and is available to you usually for £24.99, but is free for the whole month of April 2022 on Games with Gold. So then we play as Kit, not Cat. Not a Kit Kat or a tit for tat, but just plain old Kit as she basically wakes up all blind-ish and meets a tiger cat called Hodge, but we will call him Tiger Bread for the duration of this guide. Uh, anyway, they have to basically help each other out by uh, getting past puzzles and guards because, well, she's blind. Now, achievements and trophies wise, it's basically another easy list. A lot of them, uh, I mean the majority, are literally story related, but we have to grab 18 collectibles. There's a level where we have to die no more than nine times, but don't worry, that's very short and easy. And we have to trap a guard. The, the other achievements, which do seem missable, are not, as you have to do a lot of stuff at least once through the game anyway, like hide and scream and headbutt stuff, etc, etc. No, you don't actually have to headbutt stuff, but still, it's a decent game, one that'll do for a quick gaming score boost, and it'll take around three to four hours to complete. So, with that being said then, let us begin. Uh, now, what I've done, I actually went into the extras menu, into the settings, and turned the 4K resolution on. So that's always worth doing if you want a nice, crisp, uh, crisp, crisp, clean image. So here we go, then. We basically wake up in the middle of absolutely butt munch nowhere, kind of looking like a cheap Alice in Wonderland. Again, this is Alice in Wonderland if you ordered her from Wish. Mate, put some decent clothes on, then. So the first thing we're going to do when we wake up, we're going to uh, use the left stick to move and we're going to go all the way to the left and we're going to be grabbing our first out of 18 collectibles already. And they are literally just blue balls. Now a lot of men will know what blue balls look like, so <laughs> you'll have no problem locating them, will you? Nah. So there we go, with the first one done, now we're just going to walk all the way to the right. Obviously the game will get a little bit quicker, so <laughs> don't worry about that, she's just hurt from falling nowhere and she's got that whole posh little you know oh my arm oh how how disastrous father 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 anyway keep walking to the right for now <laughs> where am i is anybody there What am I supposed to do? So then, immediately we have met our little friend Tiger Bread, and Kit's all like, Oh no, now I'm blind and stuff, out of complete nowhere by the looks of things. Um, so she went underground and then become blind, which, yeah, fair enough, right. So this is what you're going to see through Kit's view for the majority. A lot of darkness around, you're basically in this one bubble. Um, so obviously what uh, Tiger Bread will do is obviously sort of light, light the way and tell you where to go. And we basically have to play as both characters throughout the entirety of the game, but it's not difficult. It's it's you know it's quite easy. Some of the puzzles are may may take a while without a guide, but it's not too bad. So she's just going to talk to herself incredibly, 
and this is where it's going to tell us what to do. Press the right bumper, and we will switch to Tiger Bread, where, of course, we can see the whole world in front of us. So, the cat can also interact with things, so we interact with this bridge pulley right here, by pressing the X button. We'll be pressing the X button a lot in terms of um, interacting with everything so far, so... Not only now is cheap Alice in Wonderland talking to herself as we push this gate open again with the X button. So she can interact with some uh, highlighted elements in the world, i.e. ladders, gates and things like that. But of course there's not a lot. Um, so now, not only is cheap Alice talking to herself, she's now talking to Tiger Bread and cats. And basically she's lost the plot, which is always good. So go to the left, there's going to be a little pulley. But we're going to switch to the cat first. Press the A button to jump. And then we can just jump ourselves up. And then what you can do, so just jump up on the pulley. Uh, switch back to kit. And then press the X button there on the lever to pull up the cat. Yeah, see? That's that's as easy. <laughs> it's as easy as pear. Right. Uh, switch back to the cat. Jump over. And then we are going to go all the way to the right for the time being. Alice is going to stay up there with the... You know what? I'm not going to call her Kit. I'm going to call her Cheap Alice because that's what she looks like to me. Right. So what you can do then, if you actually, um, you can go to the left there, keep jumping up, keep jumping. And then if you look up on the D-pad, you can actually jump a little bit higher as well. So here's the second collectible. So grab that one. But you've got to be close to the ledge in order to grab it. So, you know, just like a normal person cat thing. So now we can just jump down and then we can climb up and then go to the right, which is exactly right where we're going. So sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get right because you've got to be sort of right under the ledge as you would imagine. Otherwise we can just keep going to the right, jump up, uh, keep repeatedly pressing the A button um, when you get to sort of big places that you can't reach and you should be able to climb all the way up there like so and stand on this switch. That gets rid of that. Now we're going to see some cheap ass Alice strong woman stuff. She's basically just injected... Well, she's injected herself with all kinds of creatine and, uh, well, a little bit of, uh, bit of steroids for help. And she's just pushing this incredible mega cart. Awesome. <laughs> Wish I had that strength. Looking like a fat potato, as I do. Anyway, push it all the way down and then go for a run after it. <laughs> I'm sure things will go back to normal when I reach the surface. No more coloured sounds, and no more talking to cats who can understand what I'm saying. Goodness! That noise was blinding! Ooh, scary, some lights. You can't see a mate because you're blind. Right, interact with this lever right here by pressing the X button. Alice will automatically pull that left. And what you can do is actually just stay there. So press the X button on it and leave it there. Press the right bumper to go back to the cat and then go all the way to the right in order to get through the closed gate. See, I tell you what, it comes in handy. Unfortunately, I'm allergic to cats, so I dislike them, I'm afraid. But this tiger bread's pretty cute, so uh, we'll give him that one. Right, as soon as we're done, get the cat to stand on the switch and then Alice can walk through the door. And now what we can do is basically we can press the Y button on Alice and Tiger Bread. So basically where uh, Alice can call Tiger Bread over and if you are the uh, cat, you can press the Y button to meow to get rid of rats and stuff like that. So jump over. Now what that's basically done is light the way for Alice. So go to the left slightly and then jump over by pressing the A button. So as you can see there, Kit can only jump if a landing spot is visible. So that's why we need to get... Little Tiger Bread, the cat, in certain places, sometimes. So, get it, go into the right. Now we go into interact, interact with this lever again. Or we will, as soon as we get Tiger Bread over. Come on, you little loaf bag. There we go. So, again, press the right bumper to go back. You'll know that by now, <laughs> surely. Open up the gate, and let's move through. How do we end up in the sewers, anyway? What happened? All we were after were our father. And we've ended up here. So, anyway, enjoy the bit of uh, backstory for a minute. Kit's just the typical angry little posh English girl who's fed up with her father for loving his rocks. Imagine being that repulsive that rocks turn your father on more than your mother. Yeah, and lucky. Us? Left me? I told him it was his fault. He was shocked. Then angry. 
and I got angry too and left him with his beloved rocks. I ran off towards the sunlight. Then something collapsed inside me. Everything collapsed all around me and, and, and I fell. And then you found me. I wish I hadn't said those hurtful things. I just want to say sorry. Where is he? I hope he's all right. You're a good listener, you know. Nobody ever listens to me. Where are you going? Come back! Let's work together! Oh, please don't leave me! Uh, don't worry, darling, I'll just be another minute. I'm just um, I'm cleaning my rocks with my own samples. Right, so here we go then. Another sight. La la la. So this is basically the start of the real game then. So we're going to walk slightly to the right with Alice. And then we're going to go into Tiger Bread. Well, we're not going to go in Tiger Bread, but you know what I mean. And we're going to just jump down. We've got to leave you alone because you're blind. And we want, well, we want some of that uh, blind money anyway. So jump all the way down, interact with the switch, and Cheap Alice is going to head down. No, of course not, because you always would like to go up. But how, again, how did you get here in the first place? Well, all the answers to that will probably be told. I didn't pay too much attention to the story, to be honest, so you'll have to do that. Right, go into Cheap Alice mode, and then just keep on running to the right for a sec. And again, as soon as you see this lever here, give that a pull by pressing the X button, of course, on it. London Tower Bridge is falling down, falling down with the hell are we? And somehow that just gave electricity to the boat in order for it to go. So, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Right. So, as Tiger Bread, we're just going to go all the way to the right onto the dock where the boat is. And then we will do the same with Cheap Alice. So, just do that. And that's basically going to start the cutscene. And that is what will unlock our first achievement. But you won't see me unlock that achievement on screen. Basically, I recorded the first sort of 15 minutes of the game. And then everything decided to crash and break. So, uh, yeah, I had to start it again, but there we go. Onto the boat, first achievement will unlock, and then we can basically start the first proper level, which is London's Sewers. That's always, uh, <laughs> it's always a laugh. And so we begin. Now, a lot of these puzzles are going to be slightly repetitive, as in, we're going to try and pull this lever. It's not going to work, so we have to climb up and up and up to get others to work. There's a whole bunch of plague rats about and stuff. It's, yeah, it, it's... In terms of gameplay and puzzles and everything, they're quite linear. Quite, you know, not a lot of expansion, to be honest, but, uh, you know, still, it's what's got to be done. So, we've ended up in the sewers. Honey, we've been in worse places. Trust me. Or your father's been in worse places. He's been in a rock orgy and everything. So, as the cat then, go underneath the wall onto the left. Jump up and go to the right. And jump over to the right again. And then press the X button here. And that is going to pull down a switch or ladder. The switch ladder. Go back as a cheap Alice and then climb yourself up. Again, press the X button, of course, to interact with things. And, well, you know the whole drill by now. I won't keep mentioning that right keep going to the left 
Don't worry, there's no spookies, there's no guards or anything, we're just going to see a switch. There's no guards until about an hour and a half through the video, so don't panic yourself. Right, since that opens up, we're going to climb up with the cat. Again, we'll uh, press up on the left stick, of course, to get ourselves up. Lovely job. Now, we can just jump across to the left, because that is where we're going, but for some reason, I decide to close the gate just in case we all fall down and... Well, we we are made out of tiger bread. Tiger bread equals dead. So keep climbing up, jump up, jump to the right. And then we're going to jump up to the left. And then we can jump up once again and start heading to the right. And there we go. It's all, it's all fun and games. Definitely not repetitive at all. Jump over to the right and open up the door for Cheap Alice. So we're going to leave the cat here. We're going to go into Cheap Alice mode. We're going to go to the right. We, can, we are going to go all the way to the right, by the way. Looked like there was no way there, but now we can climb up the ladder and job done. <sighs> so when we climb up the top of the ladder, as you can see on the left here, press the X button to interact with that. Then we can switch back to Tiger Bread and work our way under. Job done. Right, we can drop right down, get rid of the Playtale Innocent Rats. Drop that down as Alice, and then go ahead, back down the ladder, to the right, and switch on the machine. So, instead of just finding a ladder to just climb up this bit, we have to go all the way up and around, and, well, you know, everything's a lot more complicated in video games, of course. Right, so as the cat, let's go to the left. Um, and <laughs> we'll do the same as Alice, actually, so we're going to go back to the left in this room. Keep going to the left, don't go down the ladder for now. Interact with the lever again. And then with the cat, we're going to help him drop all the way back and down and house and trousen. Drop, 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 go to the right. That'll be happening a lot in this game, so we're going up and down and all around. Then we can just switch to Cheap Alice, go down to the ladder to the right, head to the right, interact with the switch, and that's the first one of this section done. I think we're going to do this kind of sort of puzzle about three three times in order to <laughs> complete this. So yeah, it does take a while. What we are on, by the way, is the London Diarrhea Toilet Water. Blamissimo! Beautiful! <laughs> So, on to the next bit then, and like I said, it's going to be the same thing, so go to the right, we're going to try and interact with this switch, and the switch is not going to work. Surprise, surprise, it's video games, of course nothing gets handed to you on a plate. Now, we're going to do this tube puzzle, it's really not that complicated at all. Um, it <laughs> looks like it could be, but you just have to put it in a specific order. Easy, easy tubing. And if you use the tubes, well... It won't help you here, because everyone's in the same boat. So, let's go to the left anyway. Again, we're all blind and stuff. Somehow there's only sewer rats down here. I'm sure there's like alligators and stuff in the sewers as well, and big, huge spiders, bleh, and bats and that. Anyway, as the cat then, we're going to climb up again. Remember to repeatedly tap the A button to get up there. And then just stand on the switch in order to open up the doors. We can go back as Cheap Alice and head through to the left. Lovely gerb. Okay, right, keep on going for a second or two. Mm -hmm. 
Now, what we need to do as Alice then is interact with this switch right here. Uh, that's basically going to pop the bridge up. That's going to help little Tiger Bread to go on through. And then we're going to jump up on this pipe and then jump up again. Again, if you go too far, you won't be able to jump up. It's, uh, yeah, you know, it's easy enough to get used to anyway. Repeatedly press the A button there to climb up this next pipe. And we should be right at the very top. Don't worry about the steam. That ain't going to hurt you. Jump over to the right and jump over to the right again until we're on the top of this ledge. And just interact with this little switch right here. And a nice big fat crate comes down. And again, what we're going to do is get our... Cheap ass Alice strong woman hands out now. Oh, I'm so blind. Uh, right, uh, we're going to interact with the lever again. Uh, basically, in order for us to open the doors to the right, as you can see. Otherwise, we ain't getting that far. So, when that opens up, then all we have to do then again get some creatine and some trend in you and put them on your cornflakes. And as soon as we go to the right, the crate is going to be here somewhere. Come in. Oh, there it is. Right, again, press the X button and then just drag it all the way to the left onto the steam pipes. Go on, Alice boy. So now that the box is covered in steam and we ain't gonna die, which always comes in handy, again dying is a bit of a minor inconvenience now and again, we're gonna switch to the cat and we're going to jump down, we're gonna jump off the pipes, we're gonna basically go back to the ground floor, we're going to grab the second collectible, so drop, drop down, go across the bridge to the left, and then what we're going to do is come to a to a place where we cannot get into. So as Alice, we are going to go interact and stand on this switch. Switch back to Tiger Bread. That little cat flap will now be open. And here is the second out of 18 collectibles. Right, so what we're going to go and do now is that chew puzzle. Now one thing I should mention is, if you sort of get lost or something as a cat, if you get to a point where, I mean the check, the checkpoints and auto saves are very generous in this game. But if you get to another checkpoint, as in the one I do now, so when we get to the tube puzzle, I basically um, quit out of the game and come back into it, and I had the cat there. So, in case you were wondering why the cat sort of jumped in my, uh, <laughs> straight away in my possession, as we'll be able to see, because obviously we've left the cat behind, and normally we would have to uh, just get the cat back up by climbing up all the, on all the pipes and everything. But I basically quit out of the game and the cat just rejoined me by my side as you can see the autosave there. So, press the switch anyway. Um, and then what we're going to do, you're going to see literally in a second the cat appear. There we go. So, when you press the switch, you need to use the first lever. And then what we're going to do is um, put the, as you can see, the outer ring is moving. So, we just need to put this one on a specific um, sort of pipe. So just keep spinning it around, and you're going to see then in the dist well, I say in the distance, right there. So we need we need it to connect up, of course, that is obviously how it goes. So that is that one there, the outer ring. So we are good for that one. Go over to the second wheel, or the second valve, sorry. And then 
basically the one that we need is the one pipe on the left of the two that is sort of close together. So that one right there, so the two pipes that are close together, the one on the left. Now with the third wheel valve, again, it can be tricky to see because of course um, it, it only lights up now and again very uh, slowly. But basically we need the one that is just before the two that are close together. And for the final one, we need it to obviously be in the middle. So we didn't need to interact with the final one because the final one, which was very much in the middle, was already um, in line. So it, it can be a bit of a tricky one, but as you can see there, the pipe, the steam and the pipe was flowing through. So as long as you've got that one correct, um, again, it may take a... a it may take an attempt or two, but really it's not too difficult. You've just got to make sure that it's all lined up, and then we should be good to go. As soon as you get the achievement and that cutscene, then we can climb all the way down the ladder, and then interact with the lever on our right. So again, apologies if that was a bit of an over a uh, bit of an over explanation on how I got the cat by me and how the puzzle went and everything. But well, you know, apparently I like to talk. Uh, apparently some of you don't like it, but a lot of you do, so... Anyway, let's just enjoy the, um, Diarrhea London Water cutscene for a sec. So let's trudge around in people's used condoms and diarrhea stuffs again, shall we? Yes, for one last time. Again, nothing too difficult, it just... It's another repetitive thing of, right, now the generator's all the way up there, instead of just... Like, I just would... Does that happen in London sewers, or any sewers in real life? Surely you just put two generators together to make life easier for you, wouldn't you? But, nah, video games... Well, they don't like to do that. you got to work for it, which is... Not, eh, it's a bit of a shame, really. Anyway, climbing up the ladder. What we need to do, we need to get the cat. So, uh, uh, skip over to Tiger Bread, go to the left. We need to actually jump on, rather than dive into the water and kill yourself. We need to jump on <laughs> the platform right here, and then as Alice, mate, her strength is going from strength to absolute strength. The steroid she's taking must be unbelievable, because she is just pushing this big-ass crate all the way to the left-hand side. So, when we do that, we can then jump off the crate as the cat, soon as you get to the left. God damn you, cat, and your laziness. You've got nine lives, damn it! Anyway... As cheap Alice, we will uh, just drive back, drive back down, climb back down the ladder, and then we can just keep going to the left. Again, very carefully not to bump into anything, because luckily, there's nothing in our way. Right, so now we can go as the cat, jump off to the left, keep cheap Alice just chilling there in her blind state, as it were, and just keep on hop, skip, jumping and hopping and skipping, climb up this old Dwayne pipe right here, or in a moment we will, sorry, we're going to get cheap Alice over first. And there's the reason we're going to get Cheap Alice over then. So interact with this switch right here. And then what that's going to do is close the doors behind us. And then we can go to the left and climb up another ladder. I mean, to be, I mean, to be fair, for, I mean, for, a, for a blind chick from we ordered from Wish, she's not doing too bad, actually, because I'd pretty much just give up and cry. Go to the left for a third collectible as soon as we get to the top of the ladder then. So that will be the third out of 18 collectibles, and then as the cat we can climb up. So again, some collectibles we can only see as the cat, some we can only see as Cheap Alice. So make sure you've got that third collectible before climbing all the way up to the, as the cat and jumping off to the right. Interact with this little switchy right here to get the ladder down. Switch back to Cheap Alice, climb up the ladder. Yes, I'm sure I've said that a couple of times already. <laughs> Ah, 
So when we get to the top then, we are going to go all the way to the right where the plague, the plague tail innocent plague rats are. Do the same as tiger bread, so we can get rid of said rats. Nice and easy for us. Then we can finally interact with the generator. And then start making our way all the way back down. So this is the final area of the London Diarrhea Sewers, by the way, so... Well, that's come in handy, isn't it? All we've done is trudge through used bloody hairballs and... You know, all types of crap that ends up in the sewers. Guitar strings and all sorts. Sewer mutants and stuff. But anyway, let's go all the way back to the left. And we'll do the same as Tiger Bread. Make sure that, of course, he is on the bridge, and then we can get down with the uh, switch when we switch back to Cheap Alice. Then climb down back the ladder yourself. Basically, just go all the way to the right, interact with the generator. We're all good. We're all good. Are you tired, Cheap Alice? Well, you can't be. We've got the big, huge, pushing cap crate. Last strongman lift to do, so get on it. It's your turn next time. Agree? I think that would be a very good event, actually, uh, in a strong man slash strong woman event. Push a big, huge, you know, 600 pound crate with a cat underneath it. Right, anyway, this is where we can die, so let's not try to die. Again, minor inconvenience, if not, you'll just start back at the beginning. But we're going to go across as the cat first, so switch to him. We're going to go to the right, and we're going to head all the way down. Now this bit shouldn't be too bad, as soon as you see the first uh, pipe sort of going all the way up, we can literally just start making our way under. Uh, they go in one particular pattern so we can go all the way under. Uh, so we can just wait here for a second, and now we have to do it as Cheap Alice as well. So of course what you're going to want to do is just wait until it slams down, starts going back up, and then heading to the right. We've all done this kind of puzzle before, it's easy as. So... Well, don't die! Ah, there we go. See? Not a problem at all. Right. So, as Blindy McBlind, we can go to the right. We're going to climb up two ladders before heading slightly to the left. And then we're going to uh, go back as Tiger Bread. Wait here for me, will you? Ugh. If only I could see the other side. And this is why we need Tiger Bread in the first instant, because she can't see. But she knows where there is a gap, so, I mean, she's pretty good. Anyway, climb up on the pipes. We're going to climb all the way up. Basically, there is a bunch of rats, as we can see here. So press the Y button just underneath these rats on the right-hand side. And then that, those rats are going to scurry off to the left-hand side. And somehow, the red from the eyes is going to give off enough of a light for us to jump over. So press the A button there to jump over. 
Again, if you die, it's fine, because you'll pretty much just start from exactly where you just died. So that's always good. If it was that easy in real life, <laughs> life would be a lot more fun. You know, jumping off cliffs and stuff. Oh, never mind, I'm still alive. Anyway, climbing up the ladder, going to the left and interact with this lever. Something is moving, something large. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's just my m large, massive uh, gut. No need to panic, it's all good. Right, so climb down the ladder, go to the left. Now, it's basically just a platforming section, so as soon as it swings to the right, of course, we're going to jump on, and then as soon as it goes to the left, we're going to jump on again. So, try not to get electrocuted. So, we'll do the Assassin's Creed leap of faith over to the left, interact with the lever, that's going to open up a door for us. Dar she blows. Who's putting levers that far away and in the... Uh, depths of an electricity field. I do not know. Anyway, platform your way back over to the right and we can free ourselves up now. So, past the ladder, we're going to end up right back at the gap, so be careful not to fall off. As you can see, the rats are just underneath us, so don't go too fast. Go back as the cat, jump over, press the Y button underneath the rats, and then we can go back as Alice. And that gives us the light, uh, apparently, somehow, that gives us the light of the way to jump over once again. I don't know how, I mean, if I was blind-ish... I suppose you can see a light if you're only blindish. Yeah, that's probably a thing. Right, let's go all the way to the right. Climb back down the ladder anyway. And then we're going to head to the right. We're basically at the generator now. So now we can go back as Tiger Bread. We're going to jump across to the right. We're going to jump all the way down. Oh, well, well, well we're going all the way to the right. And now just go through the doors, which of course we couldn't get through before. There we are, lovely. It's just in case the old plague tail rats come and decide to chew on your ankles. Interact with the generator anyway. And, oh, it needs power from a different machine, because of course it does. It's video games, that's what always happens. Right then, as the cat, we're going to jump up on the pipe in this room. So give yourself the old hop, skip, jump leap. As you can see, there is another collectible, which we are going to grab as well. Oh, well, thank you for the, very much for the uh, ad there, Mr. or Mrs. Blue Witcher. Um, right, jump up with the collectible anyway. That should be the Florence Nightingale biography locked or unlocked. And then we could just move on. So jump up again. Do the old uh, A, 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 A. Jump over to the right. And of course, we can get rid of the, the, the rats. What they're going to do is actually go into the wheel. So what we can do now is just uh, keep spamming the Y button. That's going to get the power going. There we go. And then what you can do is actually now just switch back as Alice. And now we can interact with the lever. This cutscene is going to happen. Uh, but what we can do is... <coughs> keep spamming the Y button here. Come on. Come on, Ratman dudes. Come on, what do you think I'm paying you for? Nothing. Okay, right. So when the generator is up... For, uh, Full power, now we can go back as Alice and interact with the lever. Let get that boy going. And that opens up the shloosh. The shooishy. Right, guess what we have to do now? We have to go. We have to head back down and interact with that generator. Luckily, it's literally just down below us, so that's not too bad. So head to the left. We're gonna go down the ladder eventually. Get get tiger bread as well going.
Oh, no more sewers, please. That is how you do things, bada bing, bada boom. Right, that, so we are finally out of the used condom diarrhea London sewers, which is just delicious on the big fat hairballs. And now we are in the middle of a small underground town with an electricity pylon in, <laughs> in between it somehow. Don't know how that's happening. But basically all we got to do for this area is go all the way to the right. We're going to see a big white door and, uh, well... I mean, even if you're blind, you can probably see that, to be honest. You can feel it. Feel the electricity. I suppose we got all our other heights sensing, don't we? So, uh, yep, yeah, just head in through the white door to go into a beautiful little garden where we don't look as cheap Alice in Wonderland anymore. Now we sort of kind of look more like Farmer Alice, if you want. Alright, Farmer Alice, are we getting on, love? Right, so we are going to grab a collectible, so head to the left here. Of course, doesn't matter what reality we're in, we're blind throughout, apparently. Interact with this painting on the floor, and then what we can do is obviously switch it as cat. And actually, I, <laughs> Cheap Alice is that strong, she's not actually holding the painting, she just lift it up with her incredible kinetic strength. Uh, right, jump up. As you can see, the collectible is right here on the box, uh, very easily um, seen. So as soon as we grab that, then we can just move back on. And all we're doing for the next sort of minute or two is just walking and talking all the way to the right. So nothing to do except take a look at your farmer dungarees and have a look at the sheep and cows and see what's spooking them this winter. <laughs> was that good Bristol accent? I think that was pretty good. For once from me. Anyway, enjoy the scenery. It's actually a very uh, beautiful little garden, this one. An underground town. A famous painter. This is all very confusing. And Uncle Thomas seems to be up to something. At least, according to Monsieur Monet, who seems very nice, although he, he is a little peculiar. How I love this place. Nature is an endless source of inspiration. I, I really don't know who I can trust. The sooner I can find a way out, the better. Let's get to the other side of this garden. So for some reason then, there was a French guy just painting right in the middle of whatever the hell we're supposed to be. So we're going to interact with the gate. And again, even this scenery is just, it's just bloody beautiful, mate. Just beautiful. So get Tiger Bread over. We're going to, we can go, of course, straight through the water. And then we can do the same, actually, with uh, Cheap Farmer Alice. Right, head back as Tiger Bread. Now we can start climbing up. So again, spam the A button to climb up. And we can head all the way to the right-hand side. 
It is a nice little area, this one. Peaceful. No people about, which is always... this. That's the people's dream, isn't it? Oh, home. What a charming little bridge. It's like being in a Japanese garden. So we're going to stop around here for Alice and then what we're going to do, there is a collectible in the background as well, but what we're going to do is go as Tiger Bread and we're going to start doing a bit of climbing up again. So climb yourself up, A, 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 spamming the A button there, jump up and across and to the right and then be careful here, what you need to do, don't jump down, just fall down and then jump to the left. You should be able to get onto the middle one and grab this collectible if you accidentally fall to the bottom one. Then you can just go to the left, jump back up, and do that again. Otherwise, that is the next collectible done. Then we can just jump over to the right middle, interact with this pulley, and that gets Cheap Farmer Alice on her way. Be careful here, though. We need to hop, skip, jump, step all the way over. Hop, dick, dodge, dive, and dip. There we go. When we've done that, then, we should be good to go. You can just see Tiger Bread in the background there, but we're going to keep on heading to the right for a second. As is the huge, because we never go left in games, do we? No, that's, that completely just screws everyone up if you have to keep going left in games. So, we can climb up here, and then what we're going to do is uh, go as Tiger Bread. But now we can hang, in, hang on and climb some places. Basically, the sort of IV bits on the wall. So, again, press the X button to climb up and jump up. And then just edge ever so carefully. When you see a ledge that we have to go down, edge towards it carefully, because if you go too fast, you'll end up falling down, dying yourself dead, and then you have to do that little bit again. So climb down, and then we can cl uh, go back as Tiger Bread and head back in. And we are going to be doing a little uh, climbing on some trees. So head to the left and then to the right when we climb up. Spam the A button to jump up here. There is another collectible up here as well. So climb up to the left. Then, of course, to the right. Now, this is very careful. Try to edge ever so carefully. Now, we need to to we need to we jump up onto the right-hand side branch and then go to the left. That is where the collectible is. If you're not careful, you will just slide down and you'll have to go to the bottom. Go to the left and do it again. Otherwise, we can just jump over to the right and bam! Hit yourself there. Job done. So that's that next collectible done, then we can interact with this little machine there. Make sure that the two, um, the two beams of light are pointing in each opposite direction at the top. So the top left and top right, as you've seen. Now we can climb over. Oh, in fact, what we have to do, let's go back as Tiger Bread, since there was a big flower on our way. Interact with the mirror again. And that is how we've got that. So I actually just steered you wrong, which I apologize for. Right, so basically, this flower gets a little shy, puts his whole things back inside himself <laughs> in order for us to continue to the right again. Right, do some more climbing. So these uh, climbing sections do take a little while, but as <laughs> eventually, as soon as we get to uh, where we need to go, which is around here, we're going to climb up and then we're going to head to the left. So don't go to the right just yet. I'll climb up there. Old, um, in fact, she looks more like Tomb Raider, actually, so we'll call her Cheap Tomb Raider in this one. Cheap Lara Croft. So head to the left, interact with this um, pulley. Now what you need to do is get the bridge down. Get the cat there to jump on the bridge. And then bring the cat back up. So that is what we are doing there. Of course, if you go to the right, we won't be able to get exactly to where we're going. So uh, hop back over. Stay here. Uh, we can't actually go across yet. We need to get the cat. Go over. And then there's two switches. Make sure the cat is on the right-hand side switch. 
And then basically what that's going to do is start drip this sort of dripping water tap over to the water. What you can do is jump over when you see the blue on the next leaf. Um, otherwise, for some reason, um, you don't jump enough. I don't know, it's like a weird gravity thing. Um, be careful, when you do jump over, you will slide ever so slightly. So when you jump over, make sure that you've um, pressed left on the left stick, as you can see there, as to not die. Which again, dying can be a bit of a minor inconvenience. So, you know, tr let's try not to do that. Um, but again, even if that does happen, you'll just start off as the cat. You'll just have to go back on the switch and just try this section again. But as soon as we're over anyway, we can climb back down the ladder again. Not as fast as the real Lara Croft. We are definitely more cheap. Um, <laughs> cheap Lara Croft if you ordered her from Wish. Uh, but anyway, once we get here, we can now interact with this lever. That's going to get the um, bridge up or the, the lift up from the right hand side. So go back, interact with this, let's get the cat back down so he doesn't lose another one of his nine little tiger-breaded lives. Hmm. Perhaps I wouldn't like a garden like this one after all. So head to the right. And then we're going to get Tiger Bread. <laughs> we are going to get Tiger Bread. He's going to have to do some climbing for us again. Like I said. And again, you know, fair play to uh, Cheap Alice here. She is, um, damn, she is something else. My arms are already dropping off the thought of climbing and pushing huge massive crates. Anyway, as Tiger Bread, we're going to climb all the way up to the top. And there's another little mirror puzzle for us to do. But again, simple as in order to get the flower to get a bit shy and go back inside himself. As if it were cold in the air or something. So go back as Alice and we can do some climbing ourselves. Right, so when we get to the top, interact with the mirror twice. Unos and Tunos. So make sure that it is looking exactly like that. And then we can start climbing back down. And then we're going to interact with the next mirror. Come on, cheap Lara. Come in. You haven't got the square boobs like you did on the PlayStation. That's uh, it's, it's a shame, too. Because, god damn it. <laughs> All the Sims love the, um, the uh, PlayStation 1 Lara Croft. I don't know what they found attractive about square stuff, but there we go. Anyway, once you interact with the big mirror, right here, we're going to interact with that twice. That is what's going to get the flower to deflower itself in order for us to move on. Still, I'm incredibly baffled. The best thing about the first Tomb Raider game was, of course, locking the butler in the freezer. Nothing to do with what Lara Croft looked like or how the game played. You locked the butler in the freezer, job done. By the way, this just this this was just a whole bit of pointless nothing in order to do that. Don't know why the board broke, but there we go. It added 12 more seconds onto the gameplay, which is good. Anyway, let's move on to the right so we can get out of here. Dreams, my dear Grass-covered ruins. Right, so we're going to climb up. We're going to climb up to the right. And then what we're going to do, as soon as we get at the top of here, we are going to press the right bumper to get Tiger Bread back. There we go. Silent and tall at dark. Yes, that's what happens when you're blind. And that's what normally happens. Especially if you're deaf as well. Oof. Blind and deaf. That's hard. Hard going, that one. Um, but I bet they're happier than most people. Who are basically just miserable. Anyway, we're just going all the way to the right there as Tiger Bread. Getting past the deflowered flower. Now we're going to climb up on the right. Uh, <laughs> and again, try and get close to the ledge though if you can. So go to the right. Close to the ledge on the left. There she blows. Now, we can't actually just make it on the left. So we have to annoyingly go all the way up. And then we can uh, get on the switch. Uh, so jump up. And then jump to the right 
So again, a lot of these, as we jump to the right again, a lot of this looks like there's places that you can't go or anything, but nine times out of ten you can. So we're going to head up and jump to the left, jump to the left again, jump to the left again, and jump to the left again. Nice. We're going to climb up here. Now as we start going down, we have to be careful, as in we can jump here, but from here, do not jump. Just sort of fall over and let yourself fall down, but do it very gently, otherwise you'll miss, and you'll just have to do that little bit again. So again, don't jump on that bit, just very carefully edge your way over. Flick on the switch, that somehow gets it, makes it windy and stuff. Um, and the flowers come alive. With the sound of music. Um, yeah, and then that, that bit done. So then we can fall down as Alice. Jump across the gap here, and then go to the right and do a bit of climbing. And there we go then, when cheap Lara Croft, wishlist Lara Croft, get to the top, go to the right, interact with this lever, that gets the bridge down. Okay, so, easy stuffs, easy stuff muffs. Right, uh, head back as the cat, so switch back to Tiger Bread right here. Jump across, of course, we're just going to go down, but we are going to have to head all the way back up. Only this time, when we get to the top, we're going to be going to the right, of course, this time. So, um... Yeah, do your thing, honey. Jump over to the right, spam the A button there to get back up. Man, that gets annoying after a while. And then we can climb back up here, jump back up, and then we can go to the left, go to the left, climb back up. It's, um, yeah, yeah, but again, a lot of these bits are slightly sort of linear, slightly repetitive. Oops, don't fall. But then we can eventually start moving on. So we can jump up. Go across. Yummy, yummy stuff. Yep. 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 Jump up, jump up. And then we can start, finally, <laughs> we can climb down here and then make a big, massive Assassin's Creed Altair leap across to the right. And finally, we can head down. There we go. So we're getting somewhere now. Go down to the left, but stay here. Don't actually um, go onto the switch just yet, because we can switch back as Alice. Jump to the right. As soon as the grass appears as a light there, we're going to jump back down to the right, and we can climb down. So as we start heading to the right, there's basically going to be a little platform just before a set of steps that we need to stand on. Because when we switch back as Tiger Bread, we're going to uh, interact with that switch that's going to get us up. So it's that little platform there, that just that little raise as you can see there. So make sure you're stood on that platform, then as Tiger Bread, interact with the switch, and that's going to get us up. Um, obviously it makes a difference if you're not at this point, you just have to, and, and you raise up the switch. Just, you know, as Alice, get yourself back back on there. Oh, sorry, cheap Lara Croft. Just get yourself back on there. So, you know, it makes no difference if you miss some of these things, but it's a bit of a minor inconvenience for about 30 seconds or so. So anyway, you'll see this cutscene. The door will now open, and that will is going to get us out of here. So as uh, Tiger Bread, we can now just move on. So jump them down. Jump them down. Jump them down. Jump them the flap down. And now we can basically head through the door with apparent ease. And this is actually the end of the level. So switch back to uh, Cheap Lara Croft. Interact with the table. That's what ends the level. And life is good. We're slamming through it now. Ancient either.
Right, so that's Monet's Garden complete. Now, this is an important level. This is the level where we have to not die as Tiger Bread nine times. Or we can't die more than nine times. Now, a lot of this is easy. Um, it's sort of just easy platforming sections. But again, I'd, I'd highly advise just to take your time, be careful. There is no need to rush. Okay? So, just make sure that you're jumping well and you, you time any jumps perfectly. I do die twice in this section, and I will show you exactly where, so you, hopefully you don't make the same mistakes I did. But again, just take your time and be careful here. So we're going to climb up on this gear cog, and then we're going to go to the left. And we are going to go uh, onto the right one, and jump over. So you should make that with no problems. Um, so here's a little cutscene, but we're going to jump down. We're going to interact with this switch. Again, it's only a couple of minutes long. I think it's about five minutes long, this section, so it's not too bad. Uh, but obviously, we need to just take our little time. Right, so when you've interacted with the switch, we can now uh, get the gear cog back on. And now we can jump up to the right and make a little break for it. Up. Up we go. Spam the A button, of course. Now we're going to head... Um, to the left, because don't even attempt to make that jump, because that results in one of your nine deaths. So jump to the left, climb up. There we go, jump to the left. And again, as you can see, I'm quite tentative. I'm just taking my time with it. I ain't rushing, because I don't want to die nine times and miss out the achievement. Again, if you end up missing it, you can use chat to select anyway. Again, it takes about five minutes. It's not too bad. So with that one done, we've hit the switch. We can now climb back across the right. And now we should just be able to make this jump. So give yourself a good bit of momentum. Slap yourself over. Jump over, slap yourself. Yeah, same thing. Now we can jump up on the pipe. And again, just be very tentative. Just be careful. Just um, uh, climb up onto here. And then we're going to climb up on the right-hand side. Again, try not to uh, keep moving too forward, too fast. Don't, don't die. Okay? Just don't die. Don't do it. Right, when we get here anyway, we can now jump over to the right again. And we've got a bit of a sort of platformy. The, the platforms are going to start moving. The first bit was easy, but we're going to start seeing a bit um, of platforming section. Jump down here for another collectible. This is the only one in this area. But of course, try and jump up. It's not so far to the right that you end up dying. So that should be the Monet's Garden description. Uh, collectible unlocked. And then just clamber yourself back up onto the left. And then what we can do is head over to the left onto the pipes. And then over to the right. There we go. Uh, well, try and wait until the platform gets to the top before jumping. That helps. That helps you progress into the level. Oh, hey, thanks for the message, Smokey. Right, clamber up. Jump over to the right again. There we go. When we get here, then we're going to jump up, up onto the left-hand side pipe. And then jump over again. And then up. Right, be careful again here. Just jump over to the left. Should make it with ease. And then interact with the switch. This bit is basically... We are coming up to the end now. As soon as you get past these sections. That's actually the first section where I die. So I do show you, but I will tell you to just be careful um, and just wait for a second. So climb over to the right again and then jump over to the right hand side pipe. Clamber yourself up once more. Lovely jabbly. Right, when you jump over to the right, um, I just actually, I just go for it. I thought it was going to be like the first section and it turns out it's nothing like that at all. So as you can see, that's my first out of nine deaths. So again, just be careful. Just wait here. And it's a case of as soon as it goes up, just wait until the second one goes up. Go across as soon as the third one goes up. And it is as easy as that. Uh, so that's the first out of nine deaths. Hopefully you've been a bit more careful than I have. This is the final section of the game. Now, the platforms and the camera angles sucks bad a bit. For some reason, it starts doing this, which is annoying. So, jump across. Again, try not to die in the electronicity field. Jump. And jump again. And then one last leap should get you over the electricity field. And then we've got the moving platforms bit. <laughs> so, as you can see, I kind of got lucky with that one. Almost didn't make that one. Jump over across again. As you can see, you need to get the timing just right. 
Otherwise, um, you'll end up missing it, and obviously you'll just have to wait a couple of seconds more. As soon as it hits the top, jump over, job done. Now, this is the actual, actual final bit now. <laughs> so, clamber yourself up there. Again, the A button, spammity dam dam. Jump up onto this piece of darling wood. Oh, I could use that as a coffee table, couldn't I not? Clamber up. Jump up. Jump to the right. There you go. Remember, hopefully you should still have at least one or zero deaths. This is the weird camera angle that we're at. We have to wait for the platform to come down. Um, just before we can jump on it. So, again, it's going to be a tricky one because the camera angle's bad. But as soon as it gets sort of in uh, at, at your section. I don't know what the hell I was trying to say there. Uh, <laughs> right where it was with you. Then we can jump on. Then as soon as it gets to the very top... Then we can make a leap for it. Now, be careful here. Do not jump. You can just very carefully edge your way off. So, I don't know what the hell I was trying to do there. So, as you'll be able to see there, I almost got lucky with that one. But I do end up dying here as well. Um, so, it's with this one. Or it's... Yeah, with that one. In fact, that was an, that was an actual really, really stupid death, that one. Uh, so, again, we're not jumping. We're just carefully edging ourselves off. And, again, just go slightly to the left so you don't die. Make an actual jump and not an absolute fanny jump that I just made right there. And then with this one, jump yourself off. There was a little edit, but I didn't die. I was just waiting for too long for some reason because I was scared. Jump across again. And for the final time, we're going to jump across to the right. And then we can make a jump into the black hole. And that is the end of this section. So if you died less than nine times, you should now unlock two achievements. And um, hopefully you would have got that. Again, if you ended up missing this, you can just um, press chat to select anyway. A little bit later on. Uh, after the game or whatever. And go for it again. But that one is really easy. Just two stupid deaths on my part there. Um, this level is incredibly short. All we have to do is walk over the left hand side. Have a conversation, have a cutscene that we can skip with A, and that's the next achievement unlocked. So, yeah, kick cats on it, tit for tat. And is this some kind of a vision? Have no fear, kid. I am here to help you. Who, who are you? How do you know me? The theosophical powers of Helena Blavatsky are renowned throughout Paris and beyond. Your uncle asked me to establish contact. Where is he? A and where's my father? Your uncle will rejoin you shortly. Your father is unwell, but my vision is obscured by the brightness of the moon. The moon? The rare source. The attainable energy. The great shape. Come, kid. I have the answers you seek. Be careful, my dear. The underground is not a safe place. Do not trust people you may encounter. They may not be what they see. Urgh, you have to find the node of some sort. So for some reason, a couple of people are telling us to find this node. Don't know why, don't know where, don't know how, don't know when, but apparently we've got to find it. Right, okay. So, anyway, now we are into... Basically, one sort of big electricity room, if you want to call it that. It, it basically is a big electricity room. A couple of puzzles we have to do here. A bit more climbing, etc. Um, nothing too daunting, though. Of course, it looks promising. It's electricity. 
So interact with the lever to go down, and let's begin this schniz. Always further down. So what we're going to do first, then, when we get off here, we're going to head all the way to the left. Basically, there's a little little something for us to climb down. Um, now, if you ever wanted to climb off any of this sort of ivy bits on the wall or whatever, literally just press the A button. Uh, the A or the X button. Sorry, forget which one. So from here, we actually have to press the A button to jump off. Um, I don't show it yet. I'll show you a bit later on. Uh, but it makes a difference if you do it now or not anyway. So uh, go back as Tiger Bread. We're going to jump to the left. We're going to climb up. And up. Up and up and up. Eventually we're going to climb up. Come on, douchebag. There we go. Cute little tiger bread head. And again, jumping up, jumping up. Again, it's kind of a linear sort of way that we're going for a minute. But there is a switch just on the top, as we can see, that we're going to press. So, go on, boy. So, climb all the way down then as Tiger Bread. This time we're going to uh, continue going to the left where, um, what's her name was? Uh, cheap Lara Croft. Actually, it does look more Cheap Lara Croft this time. Then what we can do then is, just stay here for a minute as the cat, switch to Cheap Lara, and then press the A button there to just jump off. And that's job done. Right, now we can continue going to the right. Little fire. Oh, warms me cockles, mate. I haven't eaten for days. I'm skinny and die, I'm so hungry. Anyway, keep it going on the right for a sec. <laughs> My goodness. I never imagined there could be lightning underground. Hello, my name is Thomas Edison and I invented electricity. Oh no, that was Benjamin Franklin, wasn't it? Uh, was it Benjamin? Well, it was one of the dudes. One of the smart-ass dudes, anyway. You can tell my range of smartisms don't really affect me well at all. Nope, I'll just stick to speaking absolute crap on video guides. That'll do me. So, when we interact with the lever, anyway... Um, it was Benjamin Franklin, wasn't it? I'm not being a mong. I, it was Benjamin Franklin. I know it was, yeah. Anyway, interact with the lever. What we can do here, before getting on the lift... Um, or you can get on the lift, but make sure that the uh, Tiger Bread Cat is with you. So you can jump on the lift if you want there. Just make sure you've pulled the switch. Lift is down. Let's get Tiger Bread here on the lift before heading up. I mean, it, it does look petrified, actually, doesn't it? It's uh, a hell of an electric room, that one. Um, so there we go. Jump up on the lift then. Switch back to Alice. Or, sorry, Cheap Lara. I keep forgetting now. Because of the get up. And then we're all good. And then what we can do is, um, actually, we need we need Tiger Bread to start climbing up. Again, it's a linear path, so just climb all the way up so we can interact with the switch in order to get Cheap Lara through. So head through, and there's going to be a little switch for us right here that we just walked past because for some reason we went down in this pit. But there is a lever that we're going to interact with, and fair play to the blind chick. Like she's not, uh, she's not scared of you know, just instead of just lay, lying down and basically dying, she's like, nah, screw this. We'll just go through our big electricity rooms and big used condom sewers and stuff. Nah, she got no fear, and I'm impressed with that. Right, as Tiger Bray, we're going to jump down. A few things we're going to do in this room, mainly, is to grab another collectible. So, jump down the middle of these pipes here. And then we're going to just jump down onto the floor, going to the left. So, there that one is. Right, now we're on the floor. Jump up onto this pipe here, on the left. Jump up again. And then we're going to clamber up. And up, and up. Jump over to the left once again. There's going to be a little switch. 
sort of out of uh, sort of in a sort of hidden view. How many times have I got to say sort of in three seconds there? Um, but when you interact with that switch, that will get this uh, platform moving, which will be all good for us. Okay, we get the point. The platform's moving. You can move on with Gutsy now. Right, thanks very much. Right, let's jump down. And again, the, so basically this is where the collectible is. So let's jump up here. Climb all the way back up to the top. So we'll clamber up. Go to the left, of course, right here. Don't know why I went that far right, <laughs> just to jump up to the left. Jump up onto this, and then just um, hold yourself, pull yourself up. There we go. And onto the right-hand side, then, this is where the next collectible is. So, again, make sure to be grabbing that one before moving on the Helena Blavlovsky. The Karl Blavlovsky um, diary unlocked, or whatever that is. Right, now we can just jump down. And then what we're going to do is head... Basically up to the right now. So we're done in this little section. That comes in handy because I'm already bored with this area. Right, be careful here. Jump across, but, you know, you're supposed to do it um, not as sort of willy-nilly as I did there. Because if you go too far, you will die and you'll start at the top left-hand corner. And you'll just have to come back through this section. Again, any collectibles that you've collected, stay collected. So don't panic if you end up dying or, any, or whatever. So when we get here, interact with the switch in the right-hand side room and then the left-hand side room here. Uh, sorry to be catching up there. I was just letting you know about the collectibles. So yeah, any collectibles you collect and you die, stay collected. So don't panic about that. You can just move on with the story. Right, when the two uh, switches are done, we can now move across as Cheap Lara. Interact with the lever here in the middle of this room. And this lift starts coming down again. How many times have we heard that in this game? A few times already, I bet. Yes, we have. Right, let's carry on then. Go into the room on the right. Tiger bread we won't be needing for a little while. Um, big cheap Lara here is going to sort us out. So head up to the ladder. And climb it, of course. Because that's the only good thing you do with ladders. Um, unless you were in like a wrestling match, I can, you know, fake hit like... Uh, oh, I'm joking. I, I, I don't want to anger the wrath of all wrestling fans because they all beat the crap out of me. Ah, it's just jokes, isn't it? Just bands. Right, climb back down the ladder. This light, as we can see, this sort of electricity light will come in handy in terms of uh, having to go down into places and climb places and stuff like that. Uh, but we're climbing all the way up the ladder for now. And uh, basically, we're going to be coming up to two sort of the big electricity puzzles. Uh, but what we're going to do when we're here, we're going to start going to the right. And, well, there is a switch that we just walked past, which we are going to interact with. So get that one going. And that is the lift. It's going to head up. And then basically, what we're going to do is head all the way to the left for another collectible. Got yourself a collectible, job Jan. Right, head back to the lift and down the lift. Right, so when we jump down, instead of going down the ladder this time, head to the left, but watch out, there is a gap, so we need to be careful. So just be careful right there. Now go back as Tiger Bread. We need to interact with that left-hand side switch again. Um, basically what that's going to do as we switch back to Cheap Lara, that's going to get the light for us going so we can jump across. Now, sometimes it can be quite finicky, as in when you press the A button, you'll actually not jump and fall straight to your death. So that may happen a few times. Just don't get annoyed with it. You'll always start basically in the same spot that you just died in. So... Do not panic myself, my brothers. But we do need some light again. So, again, when we interact with the switch, you've seen the lift coming down. Um, if the light doesn't appear, we just have to uh, switch back to Tiger Bread, jump on the switch a couple of times, and it should be good. So, switch back, go on the switch, uh, switch back, and as you can see, the light is now there for me. Oh, in fact, no, it's not actually, so I'll try that one again. Uh, <laughs> the light wasn't there for me. So, trade again. 
And then just try it one more time. There we go. So, for whatever reason, you need those sort of sparks of electricity or whatever, whatever that is in order to jump down without dying. I, I don't know how. I might be wrong, but that is exactly how it happened for me. Anyway, climbing back down the ladder, we are going to the left. Of course you'll get somewhere cheap Lara Kit Kat. Of course you will. Uh, right, just head back to the left. We are now basically done with this little section. So now we can interact with this switch and head on up. Don't worry about um, uh, Tiger Bread. He's going to join us anyway. Making a difference. He's out good. Head to the left and head up the ladder. From here, we're going to head all the way to the right. Ignore the lift for just a second. We're going to get some of our huge, massive, cheap Lara Croft guns out right now to bring a crate over to the left, just to the left of us. Then we can head back down the lift. Drag this over to the right. And obviously that just gets rid of the steam in order for us to move on. It's, well, it ain't much, but it's on its work. You know what I mean? Interact with the generator. And bam, that is that bit done. That humming noise must be coming from something I've activated. Right then, let us head back to the left, and we're going to go down the other lift again. Basically, we, uh, now, <laughs> I said we were done just now, but we're actually officially done this time. So now we can head back down, and then we're going to start going to the right. There it is. Um, where, where's my tiger bread? Oh, there it is. Hello, kitty cat tiger bread. Right, when we head to the right... Keep on going, keep on going, keep on swimming, keep on swimming, head up the ladder. So that is all we're doing for the time being then, we're just climbing up and down the ladders as uh, Cheap Lara and we'll do the same then with Tiger Bread, just keep on climbing up because we need both of these to get a course through the next section. Now all this is, is just like the big massive tubes that are going to crush you, we just need to wait until the spark of electricity which you can tell because there's a little white dot on the floor, as soon as the electricity goes across you can crack off but as soon as you start seeing that white dot on the floor just wait for a sec. Go across, and just wait here. I don't think it's the actual white ring on the floor that hurts you, it's just the jolt of electricity in the middle, so just be careful there. Um, just go across here though, um, after about five or six, and then we have to just do the same with tiger bread. I survived. And to think, I used to be afraid of common thunderstorms. There she blows, mateys. Oh, good blow. Right, so this, um, we basically have to do two things, two big puzzles, in order now for this, uh, 
pillar, this large uh, lift or whatever it is to work. So what we can do is just keep heading to the right for now. I'm just taking a look at that because it looks pretty cute. Uh, but we're just going to keep on walking to the right and into the next puzzle area. At the moment. Righty mo then. So as our little tiger breaded cat friend. Go into this room. Now, as you can see, the camera's going to pan out and you can see a magnet in the top left-hand corner. So what we're going to need to do is keep uh, Tiger Bread here so that the camera is exactly the same as this. So, um, get um, Cheap Lara there onto the ladder, which of course is just in the room to the left of the big magnet room. Uh, well, the main, pro the main premise of this is we need to make a bridge for ourselves. Now, when we climb up this ladder here, there are going to be three switches on the floor. Basically, one left, one right, one in the middle to drop the magnet down. It's as simple as that. So, what we can do is stand on the one switch. Then, we can press the right bumper and it goes onto this screen, of course. So, we can see the magnet moving across. And then, when you want the magnet to stop, go back on off, go back to uh, Cheap Lara and then jump off the switch. So, that's how you get that to stop. So, hey... Uh, stand on the middle switch there to get the magnet down. Of course, we need this to go over all the way to the left-hand side. So stand on the left switch. Click the right bumper to go back under the screen. And as soon as you've got it in a good position, go back to Cheap Lara and get off the switch. So from about here. And if you think that's in a very good position, or if you think it's in a decent position, remember, Cheap Lara doesn't jump very well. She sort of barely makes a leap. A bit of a pathetic effort, but... We'll keep that there as long as the first door is on the um, sort of on the, the the left two pipes is what I'm trying to say. Then you should be good as long as there's not a, a big huge gap. Um, I mean, you won't die if you end up missing, but you'll just have to climb all the way back up the ladders and move it again. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. So just do the same thing then. Go to the left, right bumper, and then of course when you are happy. Press the right bumper quickly and then jump off it. Like, no. Right bumper again. Is that good? Yeah, that looks good enough to me. Uh, apparently not. We're going right ever so slightly. Okay, right. Um, y you know, just just do it as you think you've got it. Um, in terms of both doors are down. You've made a, a, a sustainable bridge and the gaps are not too big. Now, as soon as we do that, we can go down the first ladder. And then we can start jumping across. So that, to me, looks pretty good. So from here, jump down that ladder, jump across a couple of times, job done. Look, I've built a bridge. I deserve an honorary degree. Oh, I am an... <laughs> Hello, my name am Mr. Engineering. I know how to make doors into bridges now. Right, so when we get to this side, job done, we can interact with the lever. That's going to open up the doors for us. Lovely jubbly. Now we go into the next room. Now this next puzzle isn't too bad. All we have to do, it's basically the same sort of premise as we just get Tiger Bread to join us as well. Uh, but this time you get in a box. Basically we need to get a box from the left hand side to the right hand side. We need to interact with the switch there as Tiger Bread. That opens up the flap and as you can see there is another switch in this room and that is where we need to get the box from the left hand side to the right hand side in order to open up a set of doors for us on the right. So climb up the ladder and again it's the same sort of situation as it is with the as it was with the magnet room. So you can see the big hook there or the big crane. Put it all the way to the left and then when you think it's good enough over this uh, lit up box, press the middle button. And it doesn't actually grab it, it sort of makes it float, which is just incredible for, what's this, like 1960s London or something? It's awesome. Right, now we can climb on the right hand side switch. And of course, what we need to do is just get it into the hole on the right hand side and put it down onto the switch. Hey, somebody's that intelligent, they have done. So don't put the hook all the way to the right because it won't actually fall down or it might fall down But you might get lucky. I got unlucky with that one um, But it's fine it makes no difference. Just jump back off it jump back on the middle switch So we can pick it back up And then just go ever slightly to the left And with that one then we can press the middle switch again to drop that boy 
eventually. Come in, piss off, man. Okay, right, finally does it, jumps down, and as long as it uh, hit the switch and you see these doors opening, you've done it correct. I actually dropped it in the one time, but um, the doors didn't open because I actually missed the switch somehow. So just be aware of that. Make sure the cutscene with the doors was open before heading down and going to the right. Now, there is another collectible in this room, which we're going to grab as well. Um, but we're going to climb up. Sorry, it's just laughing at guinea pig. Because we ordered you from Wish. If you were real Lara Croft, you wouldn't be going through this stuff. So up the ladder, interact with the <laughs> lever, and that opens up the next set of double doors for us. Yes, I mean, it would, again, just be easier if there was a button right next to the doors. Of course, that would make life a lot easier, but it's video games. They never do it for us. They make it make our life difficult for the sake of making our life difficult. Right. Oh, I suppose you should find a, try to, uh, find a way to reach it, but how about just catch the next lift up and then go home, yeah? Yeah, apparently not. Right then, so let's go into the next room. This is the room with the collectible in. And it's just uh, us walking all the way to the right-hand side. So get Cheap Lara walking all the way to the left, and we should unlock the Parisian Dream description. So that should be that one all good. Now we've got about 50 minutes, yeah, around 50 minutes or so left now with the game. It's not too bad, but the after this level... Uh, we basically have to stealth our own guards, which is always fun. So, as um, Cheap Lara, what we're going to do is head all the way to the left, but not through the next set of double doors. Basically, there's like another door that we can stand on. And then what we can do as Tiger Bread is jump all the way up, over onto the right-hand side, and there's going to be a little um, switch for us to grab. So, as you can see, as Cheap Lara, on the bottom left-hand corner, we are standing on the door, so make sure she's standing on that. Then what we can do is interact with the middle switch, which gets the magnet down. Plops that back up like a big plop bag. Hello, my name is Mr. Plop Bag. And then, of course, go all the way to the right. Then, as Cheap Laura, uh, Lara, interact with the switch in the next room. Why has somebody built a random room which you can't actually get access to? Scientists not so smart, eh? Or maybe scientists really smart, because they've uh, hidden a whole stash of porno mags up there. Smart thinking. <sighs> I hope I've just taken another step towards freedom. So, congratulations, humans. We have completed this area. Now all we have to do... Uh, Go as Tiger Bread, interact with the middle switch to let us down, and then we go in all the way, all the way to the left-hand side until we get to the big sort of pillar, glass, round, uh, lift thing. Press the switch on there, and that gets us out of this section, finally. Pillars are active. Let's see if the lift works now. dazzling right as we begin this new underground path area you can clearly see as we head to the left is the next collectible so take a little stroll over a little land stroll over right there there's the next collectible 
which will be the Nikola Tesla biography. Or is it Nikola Tesla that... Uh, uh, I forget who invented who. Smart of me, right? I am a scientist, engineer's man. Right, so we're going to take a little slow walk over to the right-hand side, but this is the area with a whole bunch of guards in it. Now, we can't attack. This is all just a stealth section where we have to stealthily sneak past them. Sometimes it can be a bit of a pain in the ass in terms of the fat guards. You can sort of uh, distract the fat guards by meow ugh, meow ing at them with tiger bread. Um, but it's the skinny annoying guards which they don't move. And it'll all make sense in just a moment when I when I exactly uh, when we exactly get there. So for now, just keep taking a little stroll over to the right. The node. Everybody I've met down here has told me I'll have to use its power. I'll, I'll have to make a choice. What sort of choice? There's only one way to find out. Let's find this node once and for all. Right then, so there is a guard. Now what we can do, you're going to see, like, there's, there's going to be, like, little purple... Well... Well, first of all, we're going to see is the guard's sort of tail cone right there is green. So as soon as you see green, move in another direction. But what we're going to see is these little purple markings on the floor. Now, every time you see them, when you press the X button, you can basically hide around a pillar. Like so. And we will automatically get the rare achievement, which is just beautiful. Uh, the multitasking achievement. So you'll get that one automatically as well. When the guard is sort of far enough away on the right, keep going to the right. And again, as soon as you see the pillars or the sort of purple marks on the floor, just press the X button there to hide around. And of course, just wait for chunky nuts right there to keep on walking. Who do you think you've guarded for, mate? The queen? There ain't no queen here. Be careful, though. You have to wait until the whole of the green, the green aurora around his body, um, goes away before moving out. Press the uh, Y button as the cat to uh, on any guard, and that will get you that achievement as well. It's pretty much unmissable because we need to do that as well. Um, so to distract the guard as the cat, you press the Y button in a certain direction in order for us to move on. Pretty simple stuff, but there we go. As soon as we get that, we can now move on to the right. Now we're going as Tiger Bread, so yes, by the way, his name's not Hodge, his name is Tiger Bread. Okay, Kit, or Cheap Laraf. Laraf. Anyway, so again, any time you press the white button next to a guard, you're going to get that <laughs> meow achievement anyway, so it makes no difference. So just keep on flying um, up and around, and you're going to see this uh, switch, which is going to get us through. Now, you can see those arrows on the floor as well. That is another hiding spot, so immediately go up to the ladder. Almost get caught there. Uh, so climb up the ladder and then there's going to be a generator. This is basically an achievement which you can miss. Very easily missable actually. So on the right hand side there is a generator. Don't worry about Chunky Nugget down there. He is uh, focused on nothing. Interact with the switch and basically the generator is going to turn on the right hand side. It's not going to do that much apart from distract the guard for a few seconds. But it does get us the turning on achievement. So there we go. Oh, these rare achievements are just... Well, let's just say they make them a nips hard right now. It's awesome. It's, it's very nice. Right, so now we can climb back down the ladder. Um, but basically, as I was just about to say, there are two purple arrows right there. Oh, there's one purple arrow. When you see that, press the X button to hide and you go in like this little cubby hole section. What I was also going to say, um, as with the guard, if, if they say, aha, gotcha, or it feels like you've got caught... They're literally just on about the cat, so don't panic and get yourself out of hiding or anything like that. So, go ahead and distract the guard all the way down here, pressing the Y button. Again, if the guard's not following you, you might have to go and distract him again. Um, bit of an edit here, because I kept messing up. But basically, just keep the cat distracted. There is another hidey hole for us to hide in. So, um, yeah, just keep going down. Don't get, you can see the green sort of circle around him. Again, if you go in his green circle, he will catch you. So go into the hidey hole. Um, just jump onto the right here as um, Tiger Bread. We're all good. All we're doing now is waiting for Chunky Nuggets there on the top left-hand corner to turn around and bag her off. 
false alarm, but I'll get you yet. Yeah, okay, that is just typical English uh, pathetic soldierness, that one, isn't it? So again, remember to wait until he goes to the left, and remember to wait until basically the whole screen again goes purple. Don't go out in his green aurora aurora. Like now, so press the X button to get back out, and now we should be good. There may be a guard that is waiting at the bottom. If he's waiting at the bottom, don't turn the generator on. Don't know why the hell i just done that. That was just stupid. Don't turn the generator on. Don't need to do that. Um, especially if the guard is waiting at the bottom. If the guard's waiting at the bottom, just wait um, until he turns around, of course. Again, as long as you haven't turned the generator on. Then we can climb down. For some reason, that bit got a bit finicky for me. I had to press the A button um, to sort of jump off it. And then that is what worked for me. Um, so stay here then, we're going to just wait for a moment until the guard's appearing. Um, now, Tiger Bread was just on the top, but I edited it out, I basically just went to the bottom. So climb, climb back down as Tiger Bread and keep distracting the guard. As soon as he's distracted, hide over into the next pillar, almost again, luckily got away with that one. And then as soon as little skinny nugget starts moving to the left, we can move over again. But of course, we're, there's a whole bunch of guards in this session. It's sad that we can't just chuck a rock at the head and then we can just move on. Oh, no. Right. Bunch of fireflies. Delishimundo. Mother Fricando. But there is another guard that is going to be coming. So as soon as you go to the right, there is another guard that is going to appear here somewhere. Um, so if a guard does appear, of course, you have that little hiding section, that little pillar we could hide behind. Um, otherwise, you can just hide... Uh, follow him down and then just hide behind here for a second Then we're gonna get tiger bread back on the scene. Come on boy. Let us do this thing uh, So again the guard for me for now should start heading over to the left. There we go So again if you want to as tiger bread just distract him just so it gives you a couple of extra seconds longer Should be good to just get out and go for this part though A um, Couple of gaps here. So just be careful jump yourself over Ooh, almost lost my knob with that one. My little nugget with that one. Right. Right, okay. Well, I've got a weapon too. It's uh, it's about one inches and it does absolutely nothing. So, uh, probably the same as yours, pal. Right, so anyway, we're going to jump down. Jump across there as little uh, tiger bread. And we have done that section. So, well, I suppose it's on to the next. We can jump down at Lovely. Yep, yeah, right, and then we can keep going as our little tiger bread for Who goes there? It, it, it's me, mate. I'm a cat. I don't know what more else you can see from there, to be honest. So, back as Cheap Lara then. Oh, actually, she kind of looks like Cheap Altair now, doesn't she, from um, Assassin's Creed. So, or we'll call her Cheap Ezio, because that's easier. So, Cheap Ezio we are now. Uh, so, we are going to... You can hide in that little section if you want, because there is another guard, of course. There he is, but... I've just again <laughs> got away with that one. Of course, the guard, it depends on how long you've taken or how quick you've been. The guards are going to be at different sections for you. Uh, but there should always be two of these little hidey holes. Anyway, as soon as that guard goes to the left, we can now move to the right. Oh, hello, little tiger bread. Now we can just jump down and start climbing. A good couple of minutes climb this one all the way to the right. I can think of better ways of getting exercise. I don't think my arms can hold out for much longer. So we're going to jump off. Now this is the part where it can take a good few minutes purely because the guard is a pain in the ass who just stands there. But this is the achievement for trapping the guard um, over to the left hand side. So climb up ever so slightly. 
more or less to the top as um, Cheap Ezio, but not all the way to the top. So, climb down there as Tiger Bread. So, a little bit of an edit there because I did a balls it up. So, climb up to the top, but not all the way. Um, now, you can see this guard. For whatever reason, he takes a good, good few minutes to start chasing you. So, what I would do is... No, I kept spamming the Y button. And, you know, he he put his gun away and they go, who's there? Put his gun away and they go, who's there? So, what I would do is just press the Y button once or twice until he starts following you. I think that is how you get him to start following you. So, jump up. As soon as he's out of the view, jump up as uh, Chipezio and then go across and hide behind this pillar. But, yeah, that is what I would do. Press the Y button once or twice. Um, stand over by the switch right there. And then, hopefully, he should start following you. Um, he is a bit of a pain in the ass, that guard. Anyway, when he goes over to the right, we are now free to go over to the left. Hide in this little... <clears throat> excuse me. Hide in the little hidey hole section there to grab this next collectible, the Laboratories. Ooh, du fromage frais. So, the la that's the Laboratories one done. Don't worry about the guard here. He's not going to turn around. But now, we're going to get the achievement there for the missable one. So, hide behind this pillar... <clears throat> Excuse me again, bloody Jesus Christ. And now what we need to do is get the guard all the way over to the left-hand side past this arch. So again, try not to spam the Y button. Try and press it, um, try and press the Y button once or twice. If he starts going back, obviously just press the Y button again and then move over to the left ever so slightly. Uh, yeah, these guards are douchebags. But all we need to do, just keep distracting him until he comes all the way over to the left-hand side for the minute. Get out of here. Buzz off. You again? Don't test my patience. What was that noise? I heard that. You won't get away. Come on, douchebaggery butthole. Come in. Right, finally he starts chasing you. As soon as he's in the same room, move over to the right, interact with the switch, and that is going to trap the guard, and that is going to get the Not As Smart As Jerry achievement. So now, as uh, Cheap Etio, we can uh, jump out of hiding. Now, what we have to do, this bit is... Can be slightly confusing, but it's actually not too bad. So when we interact with this lever, the door is open. So obviously when you come off the lever by of course pressing the X button, the door closes. Now, I almost messed this one up. I tried getting the cat to go all the way to the right, but the guard, um, <laughs> as you can see there, yeah, almost, almost got balls up. So I almost messed that one up because I wasn't fast enough. So what you have to do is do the whole distraction thing again in terms of getting the, the guard all the way over to the left-hand side and then we can make a break for it. So it gives us those extra couple of seconds in order to open up the door and then close it again. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Right, so come on, douchebaggery butt snatch, Jesus. Right, so when he comes all the way over to the left... Switch to uh, Chipetio, open up the door, then we can start moving over to the right. And then as soon as we're underneath the door, quickly close the door by releasing the lever. And that is how we do that section. Of course, if you were trying to do it when the guard was trapped, he's going to run straight after us and balls us up. Right, so that's not too bad, but we are getting there now. We're only about 20 minutes or so away from the game's end now, which is kind of tidy. Right, so we need to distract him. As soon as the guard's distracted on the right... Go over to the ladder on the right-hand side and start making your way up. He may catch you. He did catch me the once. Um, so you may have to do that one just again, but it's not bad. So just distract him. As soon as he turns around, move over to the right, climb up the ladders. And there is going to be a little generator we can turn off. Boop! And you're in the dark, you stinker crap. There we go. Now we can climb down and start going to the right, but not all the way, because one of the guards has a little hand torch, like a posh little butthole. This guard, right? Yeah. So, uh, we don't need to go this far to the right as Tiger Bread, by the way. We need to distract that guard. So we actually need him getting 
get him to go to the left. So for now, we're going to head down. We're going to head past the first chunky nugget guard. And we can we, then we can hide behind a pillar. So, there we go then. Hide behind this pillar. Then, as little tiger bread, what we need to do is get this guard. The old douchebag, the old douchebaggery butt snatch guard again. But we need to get him all the way over to the left. Of course, so his green aurora is out of our view. And then we can just move on. <clears throat> oh, excuse me for my non-COVID cough, by the way. Come on, butt snatch bag. Yeah, what's that? AIDS? Don't worry, I've, I've been, ca all cats have feline aids. That's all good. So as soon as you've distracted them enough, go back to Ezio right there, and then we can move on. I assume all cats have aids. That's why they have nine lives, and they die all young, right? Yeah, probably. Uh, right, so now we're in this weird little area. Raw energy. Give me the raw energy. I need it for the gym <laughs> later on. music it's it's almost as if as if it's calling me So that's that one done, but that is not the end of the guards. We've still got quite a few to get through first, but this is a very short one um, And basically it's more or less like a kind of like a Simon Says type thing um, I'm not sure if this is timed uh, But basically we have to press the middle button and we have to press um, the certain buttons in a particular sequence In order to move on. So what we got two four six. There's twelve buttons uh, to push Well, you don't have to push all twelve um, just a couple. So what we have to do then, press the middle button. And then what we need to do then is go first over to the left and go to the uh, very first one. So 1 to 12 is left to right. So the very first one. And then number 6. And then we're going to go to 7, 8, 9. So number 9. And then to number 8. And then we're going to go to number 5. And that is how you get rid of that section. And that, that is this tiny, teeny, weeny, whiny section complete. I've never played a music. Jealous of the dude's quiff and beard, to be honest. Uh, what's his name? Debussy? Debussy? Debussy. Oh, Debussy. Your man, that's a... De yeah, yeah, you, you got Debussy, yeah? <laughs> ah, puns and all sorts. Right, so for now we're going to head to the right. Now, the guards are... There are guards, but they are generally easier than just before. But for now, again, we're heading to the right. Cheap Ezio, raw energy, it's all good. This is where uh, monster energy cans are made, by the way. They're here as well. I mean, I say the guards are generally easier. They are, but they can still be a bit of a pain in the old butt snatch. So, as a little tiger bread, what we need to do, there are two guards that patrol. One goes left, one goes right, and then they meet in the middle type thing. Uh, so, it can potentially get a little uh, tricky, but it actually isn't all too bad. <clears throat> so, what we have to do then, wait for Chunky Nugget Guard on the left to come down. And then what we can do as cheap Ezio, we can go behind this first pillar. Obviously, just make sure that the guard starts walking down. So hide behind here. And then what we are going to do is distract 
this right hand side guard enough that he's all the way over to the right hand side and then we can go to the second pillar after the left guard has gone through to the left but what I think you don't have to do um, obviously because they're both patrolling right and left we don't actually need to do any distracting. I think we just have to wait for nature to take its course. For the guard to start patrolling to the right. The guard to start patrolling to the left. You don't have to do any distracting right now. So wait for Chunky Nugget on the left there to move on. And then we can quickly go to the right. And then hide behind this pillar. Actually it was probably a good idea to do a bit of distracting. Just for a couple of seconds there. It gives us uh, that little bit of extra time. <clears throat> Now, this is the trickier bit in terms of, again, getting douchebag butt snatch on the right to move um, left enough in order for us to go. So that's all we're doing then. So we're just trying to get the guard on the right to move far enough left that we can switch back to Ezio and sneak on by to the right. But again, it can take a couple of minutes because the guard, this guard is a bum bag. He's surprised. Psst, get out of here. What are you after now? Come quietly, whoever you are. Scram! Go catch some mice, eh? Sure. Buzz off! Get out of here! What was that noise? Go catch some mice, eh? You again? Don't test my patience. Careful, you might get a nasty surprise. Where are you off to, furball? Get out of here! Can't you see I'm busy? Leave me alone! Scram! No food for you. Run, run as fast as you can. You cannot catch me. I am the Ezio, if you ordered me from Wish Man. Plus, and Ginger. Which is nothing wrong with gingers, of course. They are a fiery, a fiery breed. And I'm half ginger myself. Half bald and half ginger. Yes, I've, I've got the goods and I've got the looks, apparently. <sighs> anyway, keep walking to the right for a second, anyway. His name's not Hodge, it's Tiger Bread. How many times are you gonna friggin' tell you? Hodge seems to know the way very well. Another mystery. Right, so we've got another long, long climbing section to do. <laughs> Don't we just love climbing sections? <laughs> of course we do. Uh, so we can just climb here. We're gonna stay here for a sec. We're gonna get uh, Tiger Bread on the bounce again. So up we climb, mate. Good boy. Goodbye, coppers, eh, soldiers, whatever the hell you want to call yourselves, comedians. Um, and then what we're going to do, basically we're, gonna, we're going to go in onto a specific board <clears throat> in order to light the way for us. Which is why we are going on that specific board. So climb over, jump down once, jump down not so much that you're going to die to death. Um, <laughs> so, we st so even if you die, you stand on the same board that we were just about to jump down on. For some reason, I decided to do it again. Just jump over to the left-hand side, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure you could reach just jumping over to the left. That is what we're doing. So as soon as we get onto the sort of platform next to this big giant hole uh, in the background right there, now we can switch back to cheap Ezio. Now, I'm only up here because I died twice, in case you were wondering where the hell we were. We're still in the same, exactly the same section as you'll be able to tell now, but because we died as a uh, little tiger bread, we just started up from there. So just in case it looked a little confusing for you. Anyway, from here, what we're going to do is climb up. Now, sometimes it may seem like there is an invisible wall there, probably because there is, but you can get around it. So we're going for another collectible, so we need to climb up and basically head just keep heading up and to the right as much as you can, and there is going to be a collectible uh, as our reward. 
I'd preferred uh, KFC or something, or, uh, you know, nice beer or whatever, but a collectible will do, I suppose. And a spicy scent is your reward. Oh, ho, ho. Right, there's the collectible. Thomas Edison Biographer. Okay, right, that's all cool. Now what we have to do is climb all the way back down. Nice. That's entertaining in itself. Of course it is, of course. So head left. Uh, go left and, of course, head start heading down again. are really beginning to hurt. Uh. Uh. Yes, sir, Mr. Edison. No, sir, Mr. Edison. So, as we drop down, of course, Cheap Ezio is going to start uh, speaking more to herself. The guards are even more confused to start speaking to themselves. Mega. Let's go back as a bread tiger. Tiger bread. I forgot his bloody name. And we're going to jump down. We're going to jump across... No, we're gonna, just going to jump down, sorry. I thought it was a dead end at the bottom there. But we're going to jump across. Basically, we have to make it past four guards. But all four guards are looking out. Which, of course, our hero, Cheap Ezio, can't get in. So, what we're going to do, we're going to jump up here, just underneath. Oh, we're going to be on the same platform, sorry. So, there we go. We're on the same platform, just so you know, we know where we are at. So, jump across as uh, Tiger Bread. And we can jump across as Chibetio. But stay here. Of course, you see the bit of green. Do not go into the green, because that means death. So what we need to do then is, um, as Tiger Bread, go across. Basically, go all the way to the end on the left. As soon as the guard goes away, start climbing down. And again, remember, as Chibetio, again, if you want to add a couple of seconds, just keep... Uh, just go back to Tiger Bread, press the Y button to distract a few more times, and that should give you a few more seconds then. Uh, again, press the A button there to jump down. Um, off, you know, li little ivy bits of crap and stuff like that. And then we can go to the right. So now we're going to jump down, but again, don't go too far, because of course we've got a guard looking directly at us. So we need to go up as Tiger Bread. Up, down, and then across. But let us go all the way to the right once again. Distract the guard. And then as soon as he's turned around, as the old Ezio boy. Don't test my patience. I've got a gun and I'll shove it up your butt. Which will probably hurt. Jason Statham from Crank Style. Whew. Anyway, now we can jump down. That should be fine. There is another guard on the left-hand side of where we are standing. So, of course, don't go too far into the green. Because that means he'll go, aha, gotcha. And then you can just start again from there anyway. But as the cat, or as Tiger Bread, sorry, we're going to go all the way to the left. Jump down to the right here. We basically just need to go down. So ever so slowly, edge yourself down. Or, you know, just keep messing around like I just did. <laughs> there we go. So now we can go across to the left. Exactly where uh, Cheap Ezio is. All the way to the left. Again, do the same thing. So we distract, we distract. As soon as he turns around... Go down and start climbing down. And then we've only got one more guard to do this with. And then finally, it's to our de for crappy. Well, uh, I say for crappy because we are the crapper version of Ezio because we can't even do anything. No hidden blades, no nothing. Right, so back down onto the final uh, bit of platform then. We're going to jump down. We are going to jump across. And you can see the collectible in the bottom right hand corner. So that is the next one, which is the Nikola Tesla biography. So before you uh, mess around with the guard and move on, make sure to go in the bottom right-hand corner there to grab the next and final collectible. Oh, well, final collectible. Final collectible of this area. 
final collectible of this area. This is actually only one collectible of the area. Anyway, we've got that one. So we're going to climb back up. We're going to climb up again to where Cheap Etio is right there. And just do the same jizzing, jazzing thing again. Go to the right. Distract, distract. As soon as he turns around, go to the right. Jump down. Beautiful. That is that bit done. Now what we can do is do a whole lot of climbing. And again, all we're doing... <laughs> Ah, oh, it's, it's another fun time. Again, somehow, she's got the grip of ten bears, this uh, chick has, this little lady. But again, we're just going down, and we're basically heading all the way. It's, it's basically a linear path, so follow it, and enjoy. Everybody needs a quick break now and then. I could use some help opening this door. So, door stuck, so we need to get Tiger Bread on the go this time. Right. So, jump across, <laughs> as we've so often done. We're heading down this time. There is a little switch for us to slip. Slip is not a word. I meant to say step on. And that opens the door. And then, once again, once that door's open, we're just doing a little bit more climbing with Cheap Ezio. Not only can Cheap Ezio hold on to, like, Ivy and wall jagged edges you can apparently go through smooth door transitions as well which is goddamn impressive Climb down much further, I'll go through the center of the earth. <clears throat> right, so as we climb down, there is actually a lever in this room which I accidentally miss, but we can stay here. There, I just literally went past it then. But stay next to that lever because basically we have to get um, tiger bread through. Um, so it did, you know, it. It doesn't matter, I've just gone into this little hidden cubby hole, but we do need to get a uh, little tiger bread through. So, for now, we're going to jump back up and go to the right. I go down onto this ledge. I jump across. Uh, no, sorry. We're going down, sorry, rather than jumping across. We're, of course, going down, 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 down. And we should be all good from this point. But you basically just jump to the left now. Sorry, got a little bit confused right there. So this is why we need to get to the next lever, because we get stuck here. So as long as the guard is not there, obviously make sure that <laughs> he's not going to catch you. Then we can come out, go back to that lever. Little bit more to the left. Little bit more. Come in. Okay, we found, we found it. Yes, and his name is not Hodge, it's Tiger Bread. How many times have I got to friggin' tell you? Right, so anyway, he can jump down, and here we are then. So, last couple of guards that we have to get. In fact, I think this is the last guard that we have to get through now. And all we have to do is we just have to uh, distract him with the cat. Distract the guard as right, as far right as possible. So, keep distracting him sort of as far right as we can, and then just keep walking um, as Ezio just behind him. And again, just keep doing the same thing. Uh, yeah, of course, because cats always listen, don't they? And then as soon as we are right at the right-hand side... Well, I actually just about luckily got away with that one then. Turned around literally about a second as I went into the uh, little hidey hole. So, as soon as Bald and Chunky and Nugget nips on by to the left, we should be free as a bird to walk to the right and enjoy the not end of the game. Because we've still got about 10 minutes left yet. If <laughs> We're close. We are close. Who wants to go for a dive in me yellow submarine, mate? Yeah, not me either, bruh. Right, just walk up to the submarine, and we are going to do the next little section. 
luckily, in terms of guards and sort of complicated sneaking pass around, it's pretty much it now for the rest of the game, which is bang tidy. So as we begin then, we're going to get the penultimate collectible. So as a little tiger bread, we're going to go all the way to the right hand side. These guards you don't have to worry about, we're not doing any sneaking. But here is the penultimate collectible, but you will get an achievement because there are two different collectibles. One for descriptions and the other one is for grabbing all uh, diary books as well. So the next collectible we grab will be the final one plus another achievement. But you should have got the traveler achievement just there. As soon as we have... Go back to the left, stand on this lift, go back as uh, Cheap Ezio, and jump down from the lift, interact with the lever. A lift? This thing must be even larger than I thought. Hodge. Oh, it's an exotic place. Right, anyway, as Cheap Ezio, we're going to go to the left. We're going to interact with the painting or the door, whatever it is, the door hatch. And then as Tiger Bread jumped down. Now this is a little section, a little, uh, just a little time section again. You may die exactly like I just done there, but if you do, you end up straight at the start anyway. So it's a case of wait for the steam, as soon as it stops, and nip on by. Exactly like I just didn't do. <laughs> Close enough. And there she blows, matey. So you don't have to go all the way to the right. Luckily, we can just interact with the switch. And that gets us going. Now we can move on. So go back as Cheap Ezio. And we can walk on by, walk on through. This door should already be down, you pillock. I'm going to need a bigger sledgehammer. Again, you can ignore every guard, even though they ignore you ignore them, uh, ignore them anyway. You can interact with the generator if you want, but uh, there's no power or anything, of course. Apart from the weird fish sharks behind you there. But anyway, as soon as we've done that, we can now move on to the right again as Tiger Bread. And keep on going. Yeah, we just passed Ezio at the top there. Interact with this switch. Again, we're sort of easing in now. We're sort of coming to the easier parts now of the game. So, it's all just a relaxing time for the next eight minutes or so. Uh, but now we can climb up the ladder. Oh, we haven't, we haven't gone up one of these for a while. Jesus, forgot they existed. <laughs> right, from here we can go to the left, climb up yet another ladder. Don't worry, this is not much cl ladder climbing left, thank God. Um, now we can interact with this and open it up. Apparently no guards can hear that or hear us clambering around or anything, which is always good. Oh, hello, Tiger Bread. He joins us automatically, so he's all good. Right. So, from here, don't worry. These are not guards, so don't worry. They are just... It's literally just a little museum. So, just keep heading left for the time being. Is this a museum? Uh, and what kind of a fish is that? Is that armor? Sentries? Fishmen? What on earth are they? Aye aye, Captain. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Anyway, as soon as we begin, go to the left this next section. As soon as we begin the next section, go to the left is what I was meant to say. All the way to the left. Hop, skip and a jump. I just had to get the aye aye, Captain SpongeBob theme in there. And this is the final, final, final collectible of the game as we see a big, chunky whale in the background. God damn. The Scholar Achievement should now unlock, so you should have both the achievements related to collectibles, so we don't have to worry about any more collectibles, just the next five minutes towards the end of the game. So, let's just keep heading all the way to the right for now. And again, to be fair, the one great thing about this game is the scenery and the background and everything. It looks pretty damn nice. I'll give them that. I will give them that. 
Um, for now, though, she's going to start talking to herself again. She's off her nut by now. Things are getting stranger and stranger. <laughs> the node must be close by. <clears throat> the node. Everyone I've met seems to be obsessed with it. They all believe I'll be able to do something with it. But what, exactly? <sighs> There's only one way to find out. I've got to find the node once and for all and see for myself. Okay, here we go then. So this is the final puzzle of the game that we've got to do, and then we just have to do three endings, which we can just use chapter select anyway. But you have to, this is a timed puzzle, and you have to do it, of course, in a specific order. It tells you right there what uh, symbols that you need to push. Um, but I will just tell you anyway. Again, there's six symbols on the left, six on the right, so I'll just tell you exactly um, what they are. Um, as we go along so 1 to 12 from left to right so as tiger bread interact with the switch and then go and we're going to immediately start by pressing the X button on the third one and then go to the right to number 7 with the sort of N then back to the left at number 4 which kind of looks like a weird W then we're going to the right for number 11 which is kind of like this weird squiggly symbol. I don't know what that is. So that's number 11. And then back to the left, number 6, which is this next weird symbol next to the main doors on the left. And that is how you do that. If you don't manage to do the puzzle in time, um, it'll just reset and you have to do it again. So it's easy enough. But this basically opens up the final sort of corridor or whatever, if you will. So a little bit of a cutscene. And again, I've got no idea what's going on. I thought we were just going to find Father and then go back to the surface and not be blind anymore. But apparently, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> so we have the Journey to the Center achievement. That is for completing just the world. Now, we have to do all three endings. So basically, after this little bit of dialogue, first we're going to go to the right. Then we're going to go to the left. Then we're going to use the X button to go straight ahead. So, for now, what we're going to do then, start heading to the right. That's going to get us the uh, particular cutscene for that ending. Again. Man, I got no idea what's going on. <laughs> but it's all good. Uh, so, you can, again, you can press the A button if you want to skip this one. And then you can press the back button to just skip the credits because you will have that particular achievement. Next, we can go to select scene. And then go all the way to the right until you see the choice. That is exactly the one we need, the choice. Arg, there she blows, matey. Etc. etc. So with this time then, like I said, after the small bit of dialogue, what we're going to do is start heading to the left, which... I mean, I don't know who the good guys are and the bad guys are. It depends who you think's most attractive. I mean, the guy on the left has a banging beard. Big Santa Claus beard. So, yeah, we'll go to the left this time. Oh, and that... Oh, look at the weapon on that other guy there. That was... Anyway, we're going to the left. We're unlocking this achievement. This... I think there's a bit of difference in the dialogue maybe I, I assume there's a bit of difference in the dialogue anyway when you get the second achievement there we should only have one achievement left and that is for getting the third and final ending so again just go all the way to the choice press confirm and then just wait until the 
you know, dialogue plays out for a little bit. <laughs> And here we go then, so again when we get to the choice, dialogue plays out, press the X button, and that will be that. That'll be your final achievement of the game, so I will leave it here. So thank you so, so much for watching guys and gals, press the X button here of course. Um, if, the, if you enjoyed the game and the guide helped as well, don't forget of course to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. I really do hope the guide helped. Uh, don't forget to check me out on my socials as well, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. A big massive shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Now we can press the X button, again. Um, you guys and gals are just such legends, honestly. It absolutely humbles me fantastically. And again, thank you for everyone who continues to, to interact with me on the daily. But that's that thing, guys and gals. So I hope you enjoy your little freebie game right there. Another easy set of gamer score. Blamissimo. Right, I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Ba 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 big love. <laughs>